You do this on your own. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Three A Podcast. This is the Hump Day Show. Uh, we'll be bringing you in-depth looks, reviews, and first impressions about our everyday lives, especially video games. Speaking of, we're going to be speaking of video games today, but before that, let me introduce you, JP, aka Linkster 101, because today we have something to talk about, The Last of Us Part 2, it's finally out, after delays, after the wait, after the leaks, it's finally out, so, uh, full disclosure, we both yeah. seen the leaks prior to the game, Correct. but I'm the only one who actually played the game. Just Correct. So let me let me talk about that. Full disclosure. <laughs> Elias did play the game. I did not play the game. The what I did was I saw other people play the game um, via YouTube, via Twitch, uh, and um, and I personally did not want to buy the game. I did not want to spend. All right, we're gonna get into that. Dollars. We're gonna get into that. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so yes, mm-hmm. I played the game. He did not, but he did look uh, at the game uh, footage. Uh, so this is it. We're, we're going to talk about it. We're going to be really, really spoilery. We're going to talk about everything. Correct. Uh, T- so tell me right now. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Right spoilers now. Spoilers will yeah. be full on here. All right, yeah, Rosie. because I don't, mm-hmm. I don't want our opinion, whoever watches this, our opinion to be damaging to their gameplay experience with The Last of Us 2. So, you know, mm-hmm. this is just my opinion. This is Elias' opinion. We don't want that to hinder your gameplay in any way, shape, or form. All right. Uh... So, TLDR, as I say this, I'm switching out my headphone battery because it died. TLDR, first of all, uh, The Last of Us Part 1 was basically a story of Joel and Ellie. Ellie being the only person immune to the infection of what's going on. Joel has on a mission to go deliver her to a group of fireflies and are apparently able Mm -hmm. to uh, use her blood or her... To entire, save humanity. Her entire body to save humanities. But Joel at the end... I'm sorry. I'm so, spoilers again. If you haven't played the first one, <laughs> get the hell out of here. Uh, <clears throat> Joel at the end decides not to let her die for the for all mankind. Right. He's He loves her. He sees her as a daughter. He, not going to happen in front of his... And, 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 just and this is what's great. This is what's great about the first part. It's a, it's a father and daughter story. A Joel's daughter died at the very beginning of... Of the Last of Us One, spoiler alert if you haven't played it, um, and Ellie becomes her his, his daughter in a sense, and it's a relationship between father and daughter and how he builds. And at the end, he makes a decision that is a selfish decision. He decides to say, "Fuck mankind, I'm gonna save Ellie uh, because she's 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 like my daughter. She's and, someone I love." He's basically saying, "I'm not gonna let another one of my daughters die." So correct. So that's we we live we leave it kind of like on a cliffhanger of like. Uh, Joel, well, not... Joel lying to Ellie about what happened Correct. in the hospital. I disagree, though. I disagree, though. That was not a cliff- cliffhanger. That is a perfect ending to a really, really good game. A perfect ending. He just tells her, hey, you know what? Uh, this and this happened, and it's not even true to what what, what, it, what eventually happened to him killing everybody and, and saving Ellie. And we're just left with the moral decision that Joel made. Was it correct? We, we can decide for our own selves. But it was a perfect ending. It wasn't Andy, but it was a cliffer because she knew it was bullshit like the entire time. Trust. Uh, so we get to the second one. The second one is about four years <laughs> after that, the first one. And this is where oh, five, 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 five. It's, it's like five. four. They keep going back and forth from four years. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, four or five right. years. Bas- basically, it's in the future. Ellie's a little bit older now. She's like 19. Uh, they settled in a, in a, in a, in a camp with, uh, in Jackson, Wyoming, I believe. Uh, there's, it's a huge establishment, lots of people, lots of people working, uh, helping out each other. It looks like everything's going fine, but of course it's still kind of like this little issues between Ellie and Joel, because you, you, you get, like I said, you get the feeling that she knew, she already knew he was full of shit, that something was, something was off about what happened at that hospital. So yes, let's talk uh, about the last of us part two, last of us part two, uh, Again, you start off the story. This time, you're more entwined with Ellie 
Ellie is your main uh, character you play with in the first half of the game. Yes, I said the first half. Um, let's just get into the spoilers, I guess. Because I mean, all right, really let's are. just get into the spoilers. <laughs> so we are introduced to a new character, uh, a character called Abby. That mm -hmm. uh, apparently Joel killed her father, the surgeon. Uh, that was with the Fireflies, yeah. and she's out for revenge. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a series of flashbacks. This game is very choppy in that regard. I, like, I, you know, okay, speaking of the flashbacks, speaking of the time jumps and stuff, I I did not like that. I was like, why are they doing this? Stop doing this. But I, I kind of understand what they were no, going for. It's I like, know why they did they, it. They wanted you to, uh, like, understand each person's perspective on the situation of what happened. But honestly, I don't like it. Mostly because I was telling everybody on stream too, I was like, "This is too reminiscent of fucking The Witcher." Like when they did that in that show, I hated that shit. I hated that shit, bro. Like, why Look, would they do this? But anyways, yes, I uh, I we, think yeah. I, honestly, that is one of the most positives that I'm going to give this game. The flashbacks between Ellie and Joel are reminiscent of The Last of Us One. Mm -hmm. uh, their interaction, the way they act. Uh, uh, um, the way they talk to each other, you find a little bit more details in regards to what ended up happening in between them. Uh, um, I think those are great. The flashbacks with this dumbass that they, they got, this unknown uh, uh, um, character that you play, uh, it was just basically to force it on you to go ahead and try to feel sorry for her in a way. So that's the reason why I did these flashbacks. Okay. Well, this, this whole story, honestly... Well, what the hell? What are you doing here? To, to be hell? honest, I, I would take everything JP says with a grain of salt. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right? Peace okay. out. Bye, right, loser. Subscribe. Get out of here. Follow Get me out of here. 59 and all the Get channels. out of here. I love y'all. Get, get out of here. Hey, selling, best selling game for PS4. 4.1 Metacritic. 4.1 Metacritic. PS4. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, this whole story, it, it really. It really, as I played it, yes, I, I kind of like like rushed it because I wanted to get to the point where I can review this game and say that I, I play the game. Um, this game was basically straight up a revenge story on both sides. Um, it was a story of how neither one of them were right and or wrong because they, they both have their reasons for doing what they're doing. Yeah. Um, if it was if it was my dad that got killed by somebody, I'll definitely try to go hunt them down. Uh, but honestly, I, I didn't not I didn't like that that this went from a story about a girl who was immune and could possibly save mankind to a story about I'm gonna go kill you because you killed somebody that I knew. Like well, that, let's that, just that, cut to the chase. That I did not like at all. Let's just cut to the chase. So you start off as El, uh, as Ellie and Joel. You um, there's some tension in between them. Then you're introduced to Abby. Uh, Abby is mm -hmm. trying to find a way to to kill Joel. She's been trying to find him for a long time. Mm -hmm. There's a situation that happens, and there's like a good portion where Joel is like saving Abby. So Abby runs into this thing, these 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 uh, uh, the clickers, clickers. and. Yeah. and, and, and and all these infected and they're after her and like she's scared and panicking and out of nowhere joel comes and saves her and then after that he saves her a whole bunch of times right perfect whatever so they're trying to escape she's going bad with the city and then joel's with his brother tommy they end up saying you know we got to find a place to be safe and she's like well let's come out to my hideout okay now fast rewind back to the last of us one to a scene where joel is with ellie driving a car there's this uh, uh, black guy that comes out. He's like, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. And he's like, nah, this motherfucker full of shit. And he just pushes the car and they find out it's a trap. Fast forward to where we're at now. They go, because that just shows you that Joel is very cautious. He's not someone who's stupid. They go into this hideout and they start introducing each other. And then all of a sudden, Joel's like, yeah, my name's Joel. Knowing damn feel well, full well the Fireflies are still after him. Knowing full well Hold there's on, people right looking there, out for right him. Stop right there. Come see, on, man. See, separate right there. Number one, you did not play this game, and it's obvious. The Fireflies pretty much don't exist in this game right now. In, yes, in I know they don't, but there's okay. still people. There's okay. factions. Okay, hold on. There is no way he would know anyone was looking for him because even Ellie says he made too many enemies. He probably does have somebody looking for him, but he doesn't know anybody <laughs> specifically looking for him. But Come on, man. I'm not going to lie. Really? I'm not gonna He's lie. not stupid. 
no stop stop you're, you're bringing up a moment that happened it, it like very specific moment in the first one that didn't even come up in the second one all right just you're 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 bringing it's back four something or five years no it's four stop, or five years stop. Different. no 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 He's no not gonna be no, a no 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 see come this on. is why you need to play the game because honestly that moment even though i already knew that was happening that he was in a he was in a die like that build up man dude that shit i felt that shit i was like he, he just helped this person out. They're being chased by clickers. It's snowing so bad. They can't see shit. You know, they're they're in like crunch. They need to get somewhere safe for a while. And then she she's like, yeah, she, she tells him over here. She never had the intention of really trying to hurt somebody. But at that moment, she was still looking for Joel. Didn't know that was Joel. And, and when they get there and then he says, yeah, that's my brother, Tommy. And I'm Joel, dude everybody in that room just stops and stares at him and he was just like uh you're acting like y'all know me or something and then oh boom, my god the, some shoots, of the worst stuff i mean i don't know about shoots you that's, his leg that i was like damn dude like that's some uh, of the worst story that i've oh my god some of the worst story fucking mass effect and drama that had better shit than that that's how bad that fucking right if you i i feel you Every gameplay is different. I, I didn't play the game. Uh, for me, watching it, I just, I was like, oh, shit, are you fucking, is this what they really did? Like, in my head, I was thinking, he's not that fucking stupid. I'm not that fucking stupid. You gotta be fucking moronic. You you know people are, about, are after you. How are you not gonna know he's, that? He's, been, he's been here in this camp for years. Five you, years, four or five you, years. You no, still, no, and you is. still think he's like, like Hell on the yeah. edge, he's not by himself. Yeah. He's not in Boston dude, anymore, where people dude, are being like, like held I'm back. No, no, dude, you're 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 Come feeding on. into other people's reviews and talks and conversations. No, I, yes, I'm you seeing, are a hundred percent. Look, no. stop right there. See, dude. This is point. why I didn't want to do the review with you because you don't know how to be objective to this situation. I'm being you're, objective. How, I'm trying the, to be objective. The fact that you brought up a moment that happened in the first one, so specific that didn't even happen or occur or even brought up in the second one, was the exact reason why I didn't want you to talk about. About this not game. only that because you didn't play the game that's the issue that. there's too much of this hate mentality going around people just hating on the game because they didn't even play it. The they game. see the it's they see the the, the spoilers knew. and they don't want to play dude. the game i already knew you don't have to tell me that i played andromeda i didn't have no one explain to me to andromeda and i knew it was a trashy ass game but and i still, still went played out and played it but you still, and yeah, played, still it. played it and i didn't like it i didn't like it i played it because i was a mad fan of mass effect and i wanted to at least say hey I beat it. See, but the thing is about Mass Effect is Come that on, they, they they have they have choices there. This is okay. this is not a story I mean, about choices. Point. This is a story that somebody wrote, and you're gonna live out that story, like it or not. The that's way, that's their, that's their story. The way I see it, the way I see it, every game is very linear. Every time it's a sequel, it's yeah. very linear in that regard. A story. This was not linear. Yes, it was. This was not. Yeah. If you tell me it was, then I don't know what you're seeing. That's why I said it's two different point of views. That's what the very beginning I literally said. Elias' opinion and my opinion. I know what you're going to say. I already knew from the very beginning because you made it very point clear when you talked about the leaks. I was the one that was like, no, because I have a different perspective. Okay. Than you. okay. I see. Okay. What is it that you don't like about it? I don't like the fact that they just made him look like a moron and get killed like a moron. He is the main character. No. Of, of of the the one of your biggest there's no franchises. way you would have known I, that 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 one right there i just i can't i can't there's some of the stuff you say i'm like, i don't okay. care that he died but I this don't care one, that he no died. there's how is he, he supposed to know he's in a crutch like they're being chased it's a snowstorm <laughs> like, i don't know man for, he doesn't for, really have different. a lot of and then on top of that he has his brother tommy with him too like exactly he's and not that's what I he's not to gonna say. be afraid of what's going on like him and his brother can take care of themselves that's what that's why i'm like he let his guard down and that's what happened i i'm just looking at it from a perspective like when you're when you're clutch you're usually clutch you know like if you're in the worst type of situations you're clutch you're always clutch in the first game this fool was clutch this fool was clutch i'm talking about like on point always cautious like in every single aspect even he would tell ellie don't trust this don't do this like there were certain things that he did that he just disregarded in this whole sequence don't, you can't tell me you're gonna be clutch for like this and then just drop off like that so quickly four or five years i, I just don't see it 10 years maybe 
10 years. I, I get, you lived in this land for 10 years. No one's got, come on, dude. Like it's, I'm just using like real life things. Okay. Now in the game wise, they set it up that way. It is what it is. I personally did not like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's not even my main issue with the game that he died. Like you, you kind of expected for him to die. You knew he was going to go out like a hero, like a champ. Like you thought that was going to occur before the leaks. We even discussed it. Like, he was going to, you knew he was going to die. We both knew that. But for him to just die for an unknown character, for something stupid like, oh, you killed my father, the surgeon. Like, really? Choppy, dude. Like, it wasn't, come on, you can't tell me that that's good writing. You cannot tell me that. That's horrible writing. Now, look, if maybe, if, if it was more told in depth, maybe, like, you could see the reason why she killed because we know this is the dark world you know this is survival that's why you play the second half as abby yes and that's my thing survival you're surviving even though cities are coming back either still having wars against each other Mm -hmm. like to me in that world if i was there in that world i'm cautious every day like stepping out no matter what Mm -hmm. so to me it just doesn't make sense because if they're surviving in that world you have like it's like zombie land you, you remember, like, he has rules. They have rules, too. And so it just doesn't make sense to me, dude. Like, I know I didn't play the game. You can Anybody can hate on me that I didn't play the game. I know the reason why I play the game, which I'll explain. But to me, looking at it from the angle, because the guy wasn't talking. I was just looking at him play the gameplay. And these are cutscenes. This isn't even gameplay. Mm-hmm. It's a cutscene. Come on, man. Come on. You can't tell me that. You can't. T- like, I've never played uh, the Nathan Drake series. And I watched the cutscenes and, and gameplay from back then. I'm like, man, how long? How long? Makes sense. How long were you watching up until that point? Uh, I, I believe it was like two hours in, and then the, I had to go to sleep. So I woke up the next day and I went back to. Uh, yeah, the, because that moment I, doesn't happen right off the bat. That happens like three or four hours in the game. No, it's two or three hours. No, but I went fast. I'm talking about fast. It's like two oh, hours man. now. It's, it's quick. Just, it's, it's it's quick. really hard to take everything you're saying. Without for sure, like a, without it's a grain very of salt. quick, dude. It's because, very quick because it they look. I'm not defending this game as as I'm trying to say this game is a ten out of ten. I already said this from the from it's the times I was playing. It, it's not a ten out of ten, but I'll give my final score at the end of this review. But this game, like, first of all, I always said too, it's a Naughty Dog game. The mechanics are still going to be the same. I'm I'm not going to be like cr- too crazy about that. Uh, the storytelling in this one. Was not as good as the first one, um, at all. I played, I played through the first half, like a good eight hours sitting, like playing it straight out. Um, honestly, when I got to the point where, okay, let me let me back up a little bit. So in this game, they do instead of doing the season change like they did in the first one, they have days. Uh, right. so the the m- main chunk of the game is gonna be in Seattle, where you're looking for Abby as Ellie. And then, oh, and can I can I say a positive yeah. another positive thing uh, mm-hmm. uh, from this game as well? Mm-hmm. Like I like the fact how at the very beginning it's very open, it's very very open. And yeah, it's like a you, it's a sandbox game. It's like it's well, I, like trying it didn't to like feel that way. make you feel like you can go anywhere, way. but not really. Yeah, like you could explore, you could view stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I like that. They didn't as, as the game progressed, it, it kind of kept like constraining. Maybe because of the story, but. I like that. They did a wonderful job there, uh, I, I think. Uh, you know, outside of the cutscenes with Joel, that was another thing I liked. I, lo- I loved how they had that open world feel. I won't say that it was open world, like you said, but mm. it was an open world feel about it. Um, and let's just put it out there. The graphics, I am not going to hate on the graphics on this game. All right. Uh, I, I, some people... The graphics look fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you dance on that one because a lot of people are fucking saying, uh, praising the graphics. I'm like, it, it's a PS4 yeah, game. Yeah, graphics are like the graphics fine. are awesome. Graphics are okay. Uh, PS4 uh, Pro version are better, but uh, honestly, even some people were saying that uh, the latest Uncharted game looked better than this. But that's here and neither there because honestly, the main meat of the game is not only like the as you the gameplay playing, but the story itself. Uh, and that's my point. The story, the story, the story of this felt pretty much meaningless to me, especially when, like as you play day one, two, and three as Ellie, looking for Abby, and you're pretty much killing off the people she was with. Yeah, uh, so, that, so, so, that that helped her kill Joel. In that controversial scene, Ellie shows up. 
Mm-hmm. Ellie shows up. She busts through the door. She pops a fool. Like, they grab her. They put her down. And, like, you see Joel, like, just bleeding. Mm-hmm. Um, she's panicking. And, you know, they decide to, uh, you know, the the – the slow girl decides to uh, like knock the shit out of him with the golf, Abby. a golf club. Uh, yeah, Abby kill him, and then like uh, she, she like decides to leave Ellie alive. Says don't follow us, whatever, whatever. Ellie goes back and decides to to go follow him. They um, so she goes through this whole series of revenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, they fight. Abby defeats her, and I'm going very quick here, like super fast. Why? Uh, Abby defeats her. This is why. This is why. Like you need to play the game. You're going too fast. Why? <laughs> Because that's what I'm saying. It's a story. You were here, like, going through the, the beats of the game, but we're here to talk about the story. Now, okay. like, Abby, Fair. Abby, Abby, I, I didn't, like, at first I was like, okay, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be interested. Give you a chance. Because they, they just can't, like, live off the same two characters for, I'm assuming, three games. Because that's, I, I, I believe that's what they were talking about, that in the end they were going to make three, three, ver, uh, three different uh, games for. Well, there's the an article. That was like just mentioned recently, yeah. um, uh, where where Neil Druckmann had an interview um, with IndieWire, and they brought it up. They told him, are, "Are you thinking about doing it?" And he was like, "Oh, I don't know. You know, he seems very iffy about it now." Obviously. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so they. I, I feel like they are going to make a third one, but we'll get there. So Abigail or Abby, they, you don't you play a little bit as her in the beginning. And then, and then for the kind of the rest of the for another good half of chunk of the game, you play as Ellie, uh, going through Seattle, uh, venturing around. You get a map. It kind of feels like you're exploring different areas. Like you have, you kind of like have free reign of this area. Uh, but uh, honestly, again, it's just sandbox. It's like not super, not really open world, but it, it's still different. It's 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 okay. It's a good uh, form of like uh, looting and finding and collecting. You know, for people who like those type of situations. Uh, you get to the halfway point where Ellie is in the theater uh, in Seattle, where she's camping out with Dina because Dina's with her throughout this time. At this time, that, this is her. This is her girlfriend. This yeah, at this her, point, they're like girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. They're, I think they're together because at this point, yeah. But anyways, well, you can kind. They kind of inferred yeah. it at the very beginning. Yeah. So. so we get to the point where they're in the in the in the theater. Um, by this time, Dina tells. Uh, uh, Ellie, that she's pregnant, that it's Jesse's, which is her ex boyfriend's, who actually shows up looking for them because he wanted to help. Uh, but really, Jesse, I really didn't care about either. Like, I, I'm like, I don't give a shit about you. I thought, and, I thought they, I thought they, they felt up. I think Jesse would have been a good character, maybe. Nah, I didn't like um, him. I, I thought he was like dull. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Glad that's what I'm died. saying. I'm glad they, you died. They Bye-bye. had a chance. Next. They had a chance. <laughs> uh, yeah, he 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 gets killed by Abby. Uh, whenever she storms uh the well, storms quote unquote <laughs> the uh, the theater room, uh realizing that uh Ellie's been killing all her friends. Well, somebody's been killing all her friends, and Ellie drops this map that she's had since day one. Uh, she realizes that they're at the theater. She goes and finds them. So she kills Jesse at this moment. Shoots uh Tommy. Uh, so we're we're here at this moment. It looks like. She's about to kill Ellie, and then boom, we hit day one again, and it's Abby, Abby's side. Now, I was like, okay, let's play as Abby. But honestly, because I, I feel like for me that since I played it already like eight hours straight, and then the, on the next stream I played it for another twelve hours, and I think about four hours into the that twelve hour stream, I I, I had to start all that shit again. I was like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to play as Abby and go through that same shit just to get to where the point I know where they're going to get to is where she has a gun at Ellie's face. Like, no. And then you go through her beats, you go through her backstory, her flashbacks. Uh, They try to make you feel for her and her friends. I don't give a shit. Um, honestly, I think, I think that was my problem with this is like that second half was a drag. But knowing, like, once when I, when I get to day three of Seattle day three and knowing that I'm about to get to the moment where I'm, I'm caught up to where, what's going on, like, that's when I'm like, okay, I'm back in this. I'm invested back into this. Uh, so, yes, you, get, you reach the moment you're back with Ellie again as Abby. And then, and then at that moment, I was like, all right, cool. We're going to switch back to Ellie 
and then we're nope. gonna beat this uh, hell no you nope. continue as abby i was like oh, no fucking way i am not about to kill ellie bro i'm gonna let her win like i don't give a fuck <laughs> i don't want to win as 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 abby i don't want to kill ellie like but see I, you're proving you're proving my point Ellie. i was like you you know these characters. You know these characters. Mm -hmm. You know Ellie's how Ellie is. But you know, you know Joel Strider how to shoot. How to, you know this, and and you know, and this is one of my things. It's a fucking apocalypse. This bitch is buff. Like nothing wrong with being buff. But how are you gonna find protein shakes? How are you gonna do squats, deadlifts in an apocalypse? Literally, where there's there's food like a, a shortage of food, like it makes no sense to me. And then you're uh, you're her. They they slightly like give an idea of how she got so swole, because uh, as she's walking through their base with the wolves, she's part of this group called the yeah. Wolves W L F Wolf. Uh, they you see like this huge gym, bro. <laughs> you see everybody working out. Uh, bro, you but see, she's you been see, out. You see she, you see they have a lot of like like uh, a huge uh, source of food. I mean, she's not with like out amenities. She's good. She there's there's a moment in her past when she's like, I need to get stronger and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, yeah, they 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 don't outright say, oh, this is how she got so swole or whatever. But honestly, like it, it was it was in the beginning when I first saw her where I really was like, holy shit, she swole as fuck. I'm like, damn, she's bigger than me. And then, but honestly, hey, look, as I'm you not, play the game, you get over it. Like, it's just whatever. I mean, yeah, it's just whatever. It, but, but if it, if you want to fixate on it, go ahead. Talk about no, why no. it bothers you. The reason it bothers me, because it's not, I mean, it's just a video game. So I can't say that. Like, for example, uh, when in, in the first one where, where Joel gets shot and, and Ellie, take, you take, uh, you, you change as Ellie, you take care of Joel, whatever, whatever. And he comes back and he's all like, oh, fucked up. And it mm -hmm. takes time to get, you know. This this girl right here is just straight up swole, and like I can now I can deadlift 365 pounds. That shit takes forever to build up, and you have to maintain every day. You mean to tell me she's over here chasing Joel the whole time? You're doing you're you're, you're doing constant cardio, so you're burning up all your fat. I'm going to hold this whole workout thing. Point is, she can't sustain that. You know, you can be that way, but you can't sustain that for. But then again, it's a video game. I'm just saying well, they just over exaggerate that. You can't sustain that, that because uh, post post that fight, post uh, uh, the whole this, Abby, this whole situation with uh, with Ellie. Ellie. Uh, so okay, we'll get to that. Uh, so Abby and Ellie fight, and honestly, I, I did feel like Ellie was gonna die here, but she doesn't. Like I was like, whew, that was close. But she, Abby, lets Ellie live. And pretty much they go their own separate ways. So but, I, I uh, think the the what what they made it seem here and when they reached that story, they were just like uh basically, you know, jo Joel was her main her main goal, Abby's main goal. Um I don't think she really knew much about Ellie at all, if anything. No, no. Um, she just knew so she I'm just a, knew that somebody was important for the fireflies to go get and that Joel was yeah. bringing her. So they just in in the story the way they made it seem it was like Ellie was nobody to her so she mm -hmm. didn't give a damn. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe. so yes, so we see that they <clears throat> they fight, uh, they both beat the shit out of each other, and then they go their own separate ways because at one point uh, Abby was about to kill Dina, but then like uh, Ellie tells her she's pregnant. She's pregnant, and then mm -hmm. Abby is like, "Okay, even better, you killed my pregnant friend too." So she was about to cut her throat. But uh, uh, Abby, during her playthrough, she meets like uh, uh, two two kids that uh, were a part of another group, a third group. Uh, I think they were called the Seraphites or something. But it's the Seraphites. But they, with Owen. They, they yeah, they nicknamed them uh, the Scars because they all have scars across their faces. Uh, so she f befriends one of the uh, two of the girls because, uh, or oh, excuse me, one of the girls, one of the guys because. They were about to get killed because the boy decided to cut his hair. And then that's a whole different story. Like another one of stories that they try to make you feel for. But for me, it really wasn't that interesting. And that's I'm Lev. Like, I'm not, I, I yeah, believe Lev. that's the. That's Lev. That's like he is not. He is a girl who identifies as a guy. But 
when when uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. There you go. uh they oh shit i gotta mark that they what happened with her or him excuse me is that uh he cut his hair because he, he wanted to be more like a guy and she then, she oh he, yeah and then uh because he did that um the group they were with the scars were gonna kill him because it turns out uh he was actually supposed to wed one of the elders in their community and she, he didn't want to he was he felt he was more of a guy i mean they actually talk about this in the story like that's why i'm talking about it now uh it has nothing to do but <laughs> like that whole part but i feel like, i whatever. feel like that story was more for abby because abby was like very just very like gun ho on being just bad you know killing whoever she did is not a part of her group and does I not care girl's name is yara not, too yara and and mm -hmm. and not caring about anybody in her life besides the wolf uh pack she's with you know whatever um so i i feel like she, like lev was supposed to be like abby's like guard like like angel you know what i mean like like her her positive thoughts because throughout this entire game to be honest super like fuck everybody else it's all about me like Abby, I mean, even that guy, that, or that guy, or that girl. Everybody, that, like, everybody, he, everybody. He kills, or she kills her mom, or his mom. Like they well, kill yeah. him, and then uh, Lev, Lev, it's uh, like uh, takes off to go rescue his mom, but then they, she, he already knew that his mom was not gonna leave. She was super into the, the, the Seraphites, the Seraphites, into their religion. She was not gonna leave. She was actually gonna fight Lev, and they knew that her, their mom was gonna do that. But Lev had to end up having to kill his mom because uh, his mom was coming after him to kill him. But yeah, that, I mean, again, though, like, honestly, didn't care. I was just like, I was running through that. I'm like, bro, I don't care about your story. Like, like, I understand your, your story, where you're coming from. I don't care about it. Like, like, you're, you're, they you're didn't do a good job. They didn't do a good job of like trying, when they bring in new characters to present them in a certain light where you wanted to feel for them. I, I think, but I think everything was rushed. I think they were also trying to add too much to, um, no, I mean, this, if I like to me, this one, this one is longer than the first one, but, um, they, okay. So you meet love, but honestly, I don't, uh, the reason I wasn't even bringing up left. Cause I really, like I said, I didn't really care about those characters, but we get, we get to the moment where, um, Lev actually stops Abby from killing Dina, Dina, who's pregnant. Uh, and she's like, you know, uh, Abby was about to kill her, but Lev was like, you know what? Don't do it, whatever. And at that moment, Abby lets him go. She's like, okay, it's over. It's over and done with, you know? So no, Abby, you go your way, your way. Yes. Uh, so prior to this moment, Owen told, uh, Abby about a possible firefly reunion going on. Like they're still working. They're still out there somewhere. That's why I was yeah. telling you, Joel's not stupid. That like you, the game even literally says it. No, They're literally he, saying he, they have a conversation too, where Joel's like, where he's I think he's talking to Ellie, and she's like, "Is that the Fireflies?" And she he's like, "No, Fireflies hasn't been heard from in years." Like, no, it can't be. So, you know, because uh, that's why I said there's a lot of potholes. Like, like. <sighs> No, they talk it, about it. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why you needed to play the game because they do talk about that. Elias, I saw the game. I saw the cutscenes. You saw cutscenes, but some of them are not in the cutscenes. Some of them are like yeah, during the game. I, and when they're walking, yes, I get it. The the point is, the, the the way they they made the story, it was just like, I don't know, man. But yeah, go go ahead and continue with the story. Uh, so we can well, finish it and we can go. Well, uh, so we get past that moment. It's a couple, it's what, a couple months later or whatever. Uh, Dina and has and the baby. Has da the baby. Dina had the baby. Um, she she's now with the uh, Ellie living on the farm and in a in a cabin in a key cabin. Yeah, living on the farm like they she had discussed earlier in the story. Uh, and then Tommy's still alive, and Tommy comes over, and Tommy says, "Hey, there's Bring a trinkets. There's a possibility." that I found her and she's like, Abby, I think I know where she's at. And then honestly, a lot of the choices right here, I'm like, I wish this is a uh, mass effect. Let me choose for, uh, for Ellie to let this shit go and do not go after her. 
you shouldn't have gone after her in the first place. But, you know, it is what it is. Th this whole story is about hate. It's about revenge. It's about, like, just everybody being so negative with this shit. I'm like, damn, that sucks. But yeah. it's just everybody be being, like you said, it's everybody being all about me, me, me. Mm -hmm. And when you're about me, 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 you're like, you're like focused and different. And so the story, because you cannot change anything. Mm -hmm. Tommy comes in. Bring stuff over for her. You know, Dina's like, don't go, don't go. She's looking at shit that Joe left her. Everything's mm -hmm. accumulating. She's still pissed off. Mm -hmm. um, so she's just like, let's go. So, so, she, so Tommy comes and he's like, you promised me. You you told me you were going to go get him and blah, blah, blah. And by this time, Tommy can't go. Tommy's like been injured. He's been shot. I think they shot him in the nah. face. Yeah. Nah. So like Tommy cannot go after them. Um, so it's really up to Ellie at this point, but you know, obviously Dina doesn't want to go. They have, you know, they have the baby now with them. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, there is no reason for them to go. I mean, they, you know, they have a life. They pretty they much, have, they, they have both nice pretty much murdered each other's groups or in friends and fam, whatever, like let that shit go. But they did not let that shit go. Ellie did not let that shit go. Ellie goes after her. So we cut to, um, Abby and Lev in Santa Barbara is where supposedly these fireflies are at. And uh, TLDR, they find uh, a, a hideout for them. Uh, they find a radio where they actually make content, contact with fireflies that are in some other island. I forget where exactly. But then they go outside and they get attacked by another group. This is a fourth group. I think they're called the Rattlers. Um, the Rattlers. They get attacked by another group and and then we see that get captured. And then we see months later, uh, Ellie shows up and she following the tracks. She gets trapped, finds one of the rattlers actually like finesses the fuck out of them by killing one of them and, and like shooting the other guy. It's actually a pretty cool scene on that one. And then, and then makes her, makes, uh, him tell her where, where Abby go. Oh, Abby is. And, and this goes, is another plot hole. And she, where's that plot hole at? Come on, man. Go ahead. I'll, I'll say it right now. Oh, okay. And so Ellie goes after the location of where the Rattlers are because they, they've been in, uh, they have uh, imprisoned Abby for a while, for a couple of months. They don't say how long exactly, but it's just a couple of months. Um, So we get there. She She's fighting through. Oh, I fought through. I, I think you could sneak through, but I fought through. I was like, by this point, it's like, I'm a, like 11, 12 hours into the game that day. I'm like, fuck this. I'm running through everybody. I don't give a, a lot shit. of people, a lot of people sneak through it like nah, apparently this game is very sneaky to to go through everything so. yeah like you can you can sneak through the whole the whole area but uh yeah uh so i just ran through it blasting everybody got in my way and it gets to the point where you're like okay where is she she's not in the holding cells oh no they took her down to the i think they call the pillars because she was trying to escape uh so you go down to the pillars and you find abby like hanging she's like skinny She's not as swole as she used to be because she hasn't been eating. Oh, uh, now they played it. Now they yeah. played that card. Yeah, now she's skinny. Oh she's not as buff as she was. Uh, and uh, yeah, like so she cuts her down. Abby cuts right there. out left. her. Why? Why cut her down? Why? Why? Why cut her down? That that right Why? there was like, like I I kind of get it. Like I would probably like. At this point, like you see, she sees Abby like, like pretty much tormented, who's been like exactly beat and like suffering, and pretty much left to dead to be dead to die. And I'm like, well, I'm here to kill you, but I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. For me, I would have been in the back of my mind. That's not gonna like, like change anything. Joel's still gonna be dead. Uh, I'm still gonna have this hate in my heart for you. Like, like maybe I don't know. Maybe she was like, like maybe okay, you already been through enough, whatever. I'll let you cut you down, but yeah, you can see at the moment like she's like no, like she has like PTSD when it comes to Joel, and like she'll get she gets flashbacks of his face when he was getting, being beaten, and like they that's th that becomes again her motivation to go back and you know what finish what she started here, and kill Abby, and Abby obviously doesn't want to do it. She gets on the boat, she's ready to go. She's like, look, I don't, I don't want to do this right now, you know, whatever. And then, 
uh, Ellie doesn't give her a choice. She puts a knife to uh, Lev's neck, who's like pretty much unconscious right now, uh, because she's been like again, I like out there next to the ocean, just like tormented, whatever. Uh, so Abby says, "Okay, let's do this." So they fight, and honestly, at this point, I was like, I was like. I was like, anybody can really win here. I wouldn't care anymore. Because at this point, I kind of want Ellie to die for the bullshit she's been putting herself through. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, bro, you had a fam. You had everything set. You had your moment to to kill Abby, but you ended up killing this oh, shit ton of other people, her best friends. You killed somebody who was pregnant. Like, like you've done enough. Like, And then, yeah. throughout the fight, you went with Ellie. And then you have a flashback of Joel when you're right about to kill Abby. Mm -hmm. And because of that flashback, even though you killed pregnant women, even though you killed all her friends, mm -hmm. you let her live. Yeah, she lets her live. She can't. She couldn't do it. Really? You can kill a pregnant woman? She didn't Wait. know she was pregnant. True. But, I mean, wouldn't you feel heartbroken if someone told you you killed my... You know what I mean? Like, it's just too many plot holes. Um, okay, but think... go ahead. There's, there, there's, still, there's still more... Uh, so yes, so Ellie lets Abby go with Lev. They take off. They're going to go to that to that location for the fireflies. Um, and Ellie, Ellie ends up like returning back to the the little country the house. Farm. You know, to all you know, hopefully, hoping the hoping, cabin, hoping for Dina still be there because Dina told her she wasn't gonna wait for her. Like if you leave, I'm gone too. So she comes back, and the house is empty. Everything's gone. Uh, she goes upstairs. Everything's gone out of their bedroom. But she goes into this other room where she had her stuff. And her stuff is mostly still there. Her paintings. And she finds her guitar. <laughs> and it's so funny, too. The the times that you can play the guitar. Like, you can play the guitar. There's, like, notes you can play. Man, I was just fucking that shit up. It was, I was like, why? But anyways. And you're a guitar player. <laughs> I know. I was fucking that shit up so bad. But anyways. Uh, so she tries to play the song that Joel told, taught her. But, of course, like, Abigail bit off like two bit of her fingers <laughs> so she couldn't play like she used to but uh yeah and then she puts the guitar down and then walks away from the house and end credits that's the game that's it tell me if you if you think that's a good story no it's not that's what i'm saying like it was it's not a 10 out of 10 like for sure it's not like see you think you think it's I feel like a lot of people are getting like attached to Abigail or Abby. Fuck, I keep calling her Abigail, but Abby, uh, for whatever reason, like I never got attached to Abby. I was like, Abby, like it's just like another person looking for revenge. She had her friends. If anything, it's kind of like a mirror image of Ellie, kind of like because they're both like, like, mm -hmm. like fighters, I guess, survivors. And but, that would have been fine. Yeah. That would have been fine. If you would have started that off, the very first game that you made with Abby. Yeah. Like, I, I, if you would have showed I'm, Abby or mm -hmm. had them have any type of interaction in the first one, then maybe. Yes. Like, maybe in the DLC. If they would have presented mm -hmm. her in the DLC, uh, uh, you know, that would have been different. So let me just hop, hop in this real quick. My, because you stated that I'm hating, that I'm a hater. Here's my issue with that. Neil Druckmann came out and was like, have trust in us, because people did not trust him. They didn't. Have trust in us. Please have faith with us. Not only that, he clearly stated that Ellie was the only playable character. Did he not, Elias? Am I lying in those two things? He can't tell you all the secrets of the game, man. Spoilers. Uh, but you can at least say, oh, there's there's more characters in the fold, or, or we're not really sure yet how... But he literally stated Ellie. So to me... It's like I have this expectation for this game. I played the first one. I love. I literally fucking hated PS3. I was like, fuck PS3. Then I ended up having to actually borrow the PS3 just to play The Last of Us, and it was a mind blowing game. And I gave credit where credit is due. That was one of the best games I have played. I'm not gonna say one of the best games of all time, but it was. It's up there. It's it's very close. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm looking forward to to you know The Last of Us 2, and in my head. At the beginning of this year, I'm like, hey, you know what? I might even buy it for PS4, and I'll just borrow, uh, you know, someone's PS4. But if anything, I can always play it for PS5, and I'll just buy it if it's a really, really good game. Mm -hmm. So I already have this expectation, okay? You, Joe is one of my favorite characters with one of my favorite voice actors. I don't agree with a lot of the stuff he says as a, as a person, but as a voice actor, he does an excellent job. 
um, you know, as a Joker and, and, and others. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pumped up. And then you mean to tell me you take him away in two hours. The main character that you played almost, I think it was like 15 to 20 hours in The Last of Us, mm -hmm. the very first one, you become attached to this character, and then you expect for him to die. But then you introduce this new character and no one gives a shit about. No one gives a shit about. Never heard of. I mean, I, Not I, feel, even I, feel, like, I feel like that was going to happen regardless. <clears throat> Just, I, I, I think it would have been more, I guess, poetic if Ellie was the one to kill him. But that means that you would have to build up that a story. That would have been a twist to me. That would have been yeah. a twist to me. I would have hit me. I would have been, oh, shit. Okay. That would have been more of a, that would have to be more of a buildup of hate for, for in Ellie's exactly. heart for that to happen. But, I mean, she, you find out through the story that he, he comes out, he tells her what really happened. And at the very end, like. And like, she gets mad. Like. I don't understand. I don't even understand that either. Like she gets mad. Like I wanted to die. Like because because it because it's bigger than her. This is about humanity. Yeah, uh, this man, is not about her. This selfish. is about like that's what I'm saying right there. That that train of thought. What you just said, humanity is selfish. Is that exact thinking of this game? Like this game is that. Yeah. And that's that's why I uh, I do agree. I think I believe Polygon came out with it that this game is just that. Like. Like compared to what's going on in this world right now, like, like she could, like this person could not agree with what that was going on in the in the theme of this game. Like it was nothing but hate, nothing but selfishness. Like, like it, there's a there's a pandemic now, but people are not like killing each other to yeah to survive COVID or whatever. Like in this game, people that are still alive, unaffected, are forming parties against each other and killing each other to survive instead of trying to work together to survive. Like, like that theme mm -hmm. right there, I was kind of like, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, like th there's no way this type of community, this type of lifestyle, this type of uh, thought of thinking is going to last long. It's not going to like, they're not going to mm -hmm. survive doing that type of shit. There's an end up killing each other. But, but yeah. we, we, we're, pl we're playing this game. Like, Oh, that's that's one of the things. That was one of my issues. The other issue is you're bring, you're introducing a character mm -hmm. that you know no one really cares about that you should have introduced in the first one, if anything, if you really wanted it, your story to go that route, um, or even in a DLC. Um, that you, I think that's the main issue. And then you you hope to play as Ellie. I thought I was going to play as Ellie throughout the game and maybe you know do a heroic mission where Joel dies. You know, whether like in a cheap manner from someone shooting him while he's protecting Ellie or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, or go out like in Gears of War, you know, Dom and, you know, you just go out swinging. Like, something like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like the way they portrayed him like a dumbass, uh, I didn't like that. Um, I did not like the fact um, that Ellie just seems like she has not been, like she hasn't learned. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you've been through survival mode for such a long time. It's like, you don't know how to think, um, you know, especially in the part where she decides to go back after she gets her ass whooped. She decides to go back. Mm -hmm. Like to me, it doesn't make any sense um, uh, for you. You know, I'm petty. I'm a petty ass person. Like I don't give a fuck. And if I see someone like that, like hanging up, like, and it's one of my enemies and you kill my dad, I'm gonna be like, Oh, okay. And I'm gonna do my part to make sure that you end right then and there. Um, but it's just, they, but that's like how a normal person would think. I, I think they made him wait. Look, so they were just out of character. They weren't the characters that you normally were comfortable to. And maybe that was the point that that Naughty Dog wanted to do was to like get you out of your comfort zone. Um, well, but I feel like them, I feel like the yeah. the the build up to those moments is like is the reasoning for their flashbacks too, because there was a lot of moments where um, you see Ellie and Joel like going through the aquarium. Uh, or a museum, I believe, and then uh, you see them kind of bonding, reconnecting. The moments where uh, they try to go get the guitar strings, because Ellie's like, I, I didn't even know you had to change the guitar strings. Uh, you see those moments where they're connecting, and the moment where she finds out, and, and like she goes back to the hospital of where the ending part one happened, and Joel finally admits to her, like what really happened. And then post that, uh, just like I think it's probably like maybe like weeks or months prior to Joel's death, where he's like, you know, she Ellie pretty much tells Joel, look, I'm a, I'll try to forgive you, you know, 
uh, Joel was like, if you're going to give me that chance, you know, try to forgive me. And she's like, you know, maybe, I don't know. But, you know, I guess, I guess one of the things that really drove her is that now thinking about it is that she didn't have the opportunity to tell Joel that like, Hey, you know, I forgive you, you know, and like, Joel, but see, Joel like, never, I Joel would have hate said, for that. Like, Joel never said like he loved her or anything, you know, that's not the kind of guy he is, but like, like I, I, I kind of see where they were going with it. It's just the the problem is that I, I just connected in more with Joel and Ellie because they were the ones you play in the first one. Plus her story was more important where she her her life is the you know, pretty much the meaning of the rest of humanity to stay alive. And the second one is like that kind of just goes to the wayside. Like like yeah. who cares and, and, about Ellie being the only person immune anymore? Like, really? Why? And for and for IGN and for IGN and all these other people to give them 10 out of 10 is horrible. It's stupid. All it's right, dumb. Let's, this let's game, get to, let's this, get to our, our final scores. What is your okay, final, score? final score? My final score in this game is 7 out of 10. Okay. The graphics are great. Uh, I think the gameplay is pretty much normal as you expected. There's nothing revolutionary about the game as far as the gameplay itself from what I saw. Um, I think uh, the voice acting is still pretty good. Um, it just sucks that the writing was trash. But um, I think if you don't play The Last of Us 1 and you just play this game, I think you could have a decent amount, a, amount of time like where you actually enjoy it. I think if, if, if no one played the first one and just played this game, you would be a little bit better off. But 7 out of 10. And, and it's, I think that's a very low score for a AAA game who's expected to be like amazing and they so much time and money invested. Yeah. Uh, same. I say it's a seven out of 10. Uh, honestly, when I was playing the game, I was rating it. Uh, I was like eight out of 10, seven out of 10. And it's glitchy. I, it's glitchy. I haven't, I didn't get any glitches, but, uh, towards, towards the moments uh, I was playing as, uh, Abby, I was like five out of 10. I was like, fuck this shit. Why am I playing through this again? I already know where it's going to lead up to. Like that, that shit was pissing me off so bad. Then again, I was probably tired. But yeah, seven out of ten. Again, graphics are fine. It's an Audi Dog game, you know, not nothing revolutionary on the gameplay. Yeah, side. but 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 you like know, I said, I for the most part, what you're what you're coming to these games are for are for the story. Story wasn't there for me. I, it was lackluster. It was revenge. Mm -hmm. It was it was motivated by hate and selfishness. It was motivated by, motivated by uh, a person that I did not care about. I don't care about your daddy dying. Uh, too bad he was the only one who can make a cure. Like, uh, I honestly thought it would have been more interesting if it was like a daughter or something for one of the uh, the Firefly leader or something. I feel like that would have made more sense, but no. Or maybe make a story how like Ellie has a new baby and like she finally sees Joel's perspective when she saves the baby, like something like that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But, but but the reason I did not buy this game because the leaks came out to be true. The majority of the leaks came out to be true. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything I feel that certain things were pushed um, in certain ways. And the thing is, like I said, what were pushed? I, I feel like they were trying to make you want to uh, think revenge is bad and, 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 and this is bad and, and, and you shouldn't think this way and like make you think how would a woman like, no, dude, like I don't play video games to hear your stupid ass fucking agenda. I play video games to have fun fun that's the reason i play video games i try to get away from the real world which is shit and have a fantasy world where i enjoy my time and i play and i rage or i do whatever but i do it in that world um and i don't have to hear my policy like like i i know low to say oh yeah he doesn't like women. no dude I, I love the two the new ones and the old ones you know what i mean i've played video games where women have been the main character like it doesn't bother me as long as in the story from the very get-go you present it um, you know, I feel like this game was just like that. It was just too, too out of whack. Um, and that's the reason I did not buy this game. I, for me, as I got older, at first $65 or whatever, I don't give a fuck. But as I got older, I've learned to realize like $65 is like, basically could be three or four hours of work, you know, depending on where you work. And for me, that's like valuable money. Now that I'm older, I'm trying to buy a house. I'm trying to pay off my car. Uh, you know, I have all these bills. Mm -hmm. So for me to to 
spend 65 bucks on a game, it better be worth it. Mm-hmm. When I read the leaks and I saw the leaks, and then I started seeing how uh, Naughty Dog and like their, their their companies around them were starting to strike down YouTubers and uh, striking down memes and, and doing this and doing well, that. Some of just... the YouTubers is because the, true because true. of the embargo. They were going they were breaking embargo prior to the, the agreement. But not all. But not all. Some people were just commenting on it. They didn't even have screenshots. They were just commenting on the news, on the leaks, and they still got a uh, 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 hit. And and for me, that just showed me as a gamer, like, oh, these motherfuckers are trying to cover up. Like, hell no. I'm not buying that piece of shit game. I'm going to wait till it comes out, see how it is. And mm, honestly, they're covering my person. The story, which is, like I said, the main reason you're going to play mm-hmm. this. Like, it's a story because this game is driven by story. Wouldn't alone. you want to like not have that out there? Like, wouldn't you try to stop that? As as a developer, and you're creating a game, I understand that point of view. But the reason why there was so much, because this has been before with Neil Druckmann, with bringing in all these people um, uh, and, and voicing certain opinions. He did that himself. Um, no one told him to do that. Um, you know, he's vo- voicing this, voicing that. People were starting to get concerned because we're here to play games and have fun. We don't want to hear your perspective on life. We're here to play, just play the game. Um, and I understand sometimes your personal your personal stuff falls into your art, but keep in mind art is subjective. So in art, I can have an opinion about it. So essentially, he allowed that to happen. He let it affect his work, and you know, we have what we have. I was not gonna waste sixty five bucks on it. I honestly am putting the same category of Resident Evil, where Resident Evil three. And if you guys look, I, and I wasn't, I was, I was being fair. That game, get it when it's on sale. Okay, it's not worth it unless you're a super fanboy like me. Then you can get it. And you're willing to spend 65 bucks. Go ahead, but wait for that to be on sale. This game, wait for it to be definitely on fucking sale. Don't fucking get this game on sale. I'm not saying not to play it. I'm not saying not to buy it. I'm saying wait for it to get on sale because it's not worth it. It's not worth 65 bucks. You got 30, 20, maybe 15. Go ahead, but 65 bucks, no, 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 no. Uh, the story was bad. This, this game is driven solely by story. You can't even deny that, Elias. The very first one, everyone loved it because of the story. And it was all word of mouth. Th- that game, Last of Us, the first one, wasn't because, oh, they promoted it. It was all word of mouth. I heard it because my ex best friend was like, bro, you got to play this game. Like, I'm going to let you borrow the PS3 with this game just so you can play it. And I was like, fine. And I played it, and I loved it. So, you know, here I... I the way I see it, I, that's the reason I didn't buy it. I just watch someone play it. I don't care if you hate on me for it. Like I said, this you can say I'm hating. I'm not hating. I have my personal perspective because we can both agree on certain games, and we have where they've been trash, and we both agree that they're trash, okay? But for some strange reason, I hate on this particular game, and then everyone's like, oh, my God, you're the, like, no, dude, this fucking game is not that fucking good. It's not fucking good either way. So that's why I didn't get it. Uh, I understand why people want to go ahead and buy it. I don't hate on them if they want to buy it. A lot of people went ahead and just bought it. Like, whatever. It's the most, I think it's the best-selling game of PS4 now. Um, you know, but it just sucks how people, like, we can't even share opinions on hating on a game because we're just haters. Like, no, it, this game sucks from what it was expected to be. This is a triple A game. This is a game that's been waited on for, what, six, seven years? Uh, that people have been expecting that that people expected some sort of, of of proper ending, maybe not the ending we wanted, but a good ending. This is a stupid ending. It's a stupid ending, and no one can tell me otherwise. Elias Los, no one. It's a stupid ending. It is. You cannot tell me it's a great ending for what it was. Last of Us One. I know I'm ranting, and I'm sorry about that, guys. But the reason I'm ranting is because I really wanted this game to be good. I really like. I'm like as I'm getting older, I'm, I'm not liking a lot of games. I don't buy a lot of games like I used to before. It, this is the first year I think. Last year I didn't buy any game. I think I bought the, my first game this year, which is horrible, horrible. Like I'm tired of playing shitty fucking games. I want to play good games, and I don't want to play games with agendas. I want to play games just to have fun. That's the whole point of it now, and that's just my point and take on it. You know, as I said, seven out of ten. Go ahead, Elias. I know I've been ranting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end our review right there of The Last of Us Part 2. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for listening and watching. Main Podcast is on Mondays. We're also on Spotify and Anchor and Apple Podcasts. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, that's it. GG's. All right, guys. See y'all later. Peace out. All right. IGN was right. 10